this trailer and palletized freight never goes well. Never goes well. So the pallet jack didn't work. They're gonna go grab a forklift and give that a shot. Oh yeah, we forgot our keys to the trailer, so they had to use a pair of bolt cutters. So I now have some new lockpick testing tools. Just another day in the life. Yeah, this. If it's not one thing, it's another. And I knew I was forgetting something when we left. I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? At least I brought the straps. Not that I need it with this giant pallet. <laughs> and tell me what would have happened with you. Well, I mean, a couple of women could have figured it out and not some giant scratch. Oh, I don't care. Just saying. I'm just happy it's in there and I didn't have to lift anything. I could have done better. Yeah, we're going to get her a forklift. I'll take her down to the boat ramp. So I went inside for padlocks for the trailer since we had to cut those off. I ended up walking outside with a blower and two new batteries too. Case can kill me. But it was on sale. Yeah. Uh, well, I got this for free. Really? Uh-huh. Well, what else did you get? I said spend three hundred dollars on this. And what is it? Two batteries. Charger. Big batteries. You so too. Well, we're going to Target next, and I'm <laughs> gonna spend some money. Great. couple options here. One, just cut it apart and see what we got. Two, try and get this broken pallet out of here first. Three, haul it up to the property and then sort it out. I think what we're going to do is try and assemble it in the campground, which is going to involve me opening this pallet up, which I'm like, is that really a good idea? This is kind of like, you got the tent out of the bag. Can you get the tent back in the bag? Only one way to find out. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Like, not even the slightest clue. Because this is like, really, the dude at the Home Depot is like, oh, you just have to put the wheels on. Yeah. Holy shit. I can't even tell if the motor's mounted. It doesn't look like it. I really hope it is. This just got real interesting real fast. It's really not that many pieces of hardware. What did I get myself into? 
putting it back on now or no okay this is part of the case is like I'm gonna go take it now Well, the GoPro just missed all of the action. Um, got the whole crate disassembled. That thing stood up. That was a lot of work. So we're gonna take a break for a minute. Noticing a few problems on the machining with these uh, Champion Law Exploders. There's like a couple bolt holes that weren't cut completely. It had like little tabs. I had to like get the bolt around and then the castle nut was really having an issue on the, one of these axles. So something to keep in mind if you plan on buying one of these. Get it assembled if you can. Is it? If that's spinning, it's not doing anything. <laughs> this is why I need the kids' version. What kids' version? You know, like play tools. <laughs> I, see, I see. Play school. Well, this is play tools right now. <laughs> Soon you're gonna get the real tools. All right, you need to grip that really good. Maybe I shouldn't have said I got it. Alrighty. With some mild back pain, that is over.
Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's adventure with the log splitter from picking it up, getting it in the trailer, to getting it out of the trailer, getting it back in the trailer, and getting it assembled. We had a good bit of fun. I hope I didn't mess up my back anymore. I don't think I did. So we will be taking that up to the property shortly and taking a few bins up there to just get the camper a little bit more organized. And then we will be starting to split about six to seven cords of wood. We had uh, all of our firewood delivered and we will be starting that process very soon. So stick around and find out. Why did we get firewood delivered? because I really messed up my back. If you watch the last firewood video, you can probably see why I did. So, we had to cheat a little bit this year. Next year, we won't. You say so. Mm-hmm.